What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is day number 42 of my 120. <sighs> so today, first thing that comes to mind, I'll bring up, because at the end of the day actually, I started getting on this conversation with Josh. Josh, shout out to Josh. Um, me and Josh are weirdly alike on our financial goals and our financial knowledge per se. Both of us, when we joined the program and everything, you know, we didn't have ladies at home. Like we both, it's like we both were like filling in each other's stories as we were going and just like looking at each other. But I'm sure a lot of guys are this way. Um, both of us, our plans were to join the union and after we got out, to just sail, like pretty much nonstop, as much as we could. And we both had goals of, and we didn't go to school at the same time, but I started to share my goals, he started to share his, and both of ours were exactly alike. Um, we had a goal of, sailing you know two three years kind of enjoying ourselves but mostly trying to build a nest egg of around 100 g's um and then slow down and i mean that is completely possible and a two if if you're still living at home or you know if you're not if you don't have a mortgage or constant rent or like a car payment or whatever uh, even with a car payment it's possible but it's completely possible in two years if you have no responsibilities at home and all you're gonna do is work for the next two years you could easily save a hundred G's in two years I mean with the money that comes and you think I guess this video is going to be a little about finances. Um, you know, like at home, if you got no bills at home, you got no car, no apartment, no mortgage, um, nothing to pay for at home besides your cell phone bill, you come out here and you don't have any bills. You don't, and you're not spending any money. Uh, me and Josh both, we don't really go out a lot, especially here because it's kind of difficult you know you're basically wasting an hour just to get to town and then you gotta come back within another two hours you don't get a lot of time so we don't go out a lot um, but you know we both had these goals and we both you know life happens we're both ecstatic and happy that it's happened this way but we both met beautiful ladies and you know it's hard to be away from them for so long and you know Charmaine encourages me to do me but doing me wants to be home with her um, and do things with her so working you know 10 months out of the year wasn't an option when I met her and it wasn't for Josh. Um, and on top of that, you know, me and him were talking about it, and then we brought in the OS, and we started asking him about some stuff, you know, just some conversation. And we asked, you know, I mean, he, I just, we asked him a simple question. I think we asked him, um, like where's his money go and he just spilled everything like boom um, basically said he was each month he's out here he saves 2,000 like saves completely 2,000 he sends roughly 600 to a thousand back home to his family um, which is in another country and then the rest of his money basically goes to his apartment, his car, and then his own, 
personal family and kids in the States. And me and Josh just looked at each other. Josh at first thought he said like 200. <laughs> and I was like, no, he said 2000. He was like, no, he didn't. It's like, yeah, he said 2000. Um, me and Josh were like, you're saving 2000 a month? That's, that's really good to be saving $2,000 a month. Um, and he's, the OS, he's saving up for a house. Um, me, personally out here, like when I'm home, typically I can put away, last time I was home, I was putting away about seven fifty a month. Completely into um, my investment accounts, my retirements, and my own house fund. Um, and Josh says, you know, he was, I don't know what he said, I think he said like 200, 300 a month is what he saved. But it's understandable because Josh, you know, he's just starting out. And so just like when I first started out, I was definitely spending a whole lot more money than I planned, especially being that I met Charmaine. But for you guys and gals, when you go through the program and you get out here, it's, I highly encourage it for the singles. Because when you have no responsibilities, you have no partner at home that you're wanting to be with all the time, and you're, you're ready to work, you could come out here and just stack away money. Like, I mean, I've personally been able to save a whole lot more than I used to at home when I was having to pay for gas all the time and food all the time. Um, I was lucky to save 200 bucks a month. Now that I'm here, on top of what I was saving at home, five to 700, um, I put away an extra thousand dollars a month while I'm here because the money's coming in. Well, actually, obviously I save more than that, but an extra thousand dollars a month goes towards a specific saving goal. Um, then the rest of the money goes into, you know, basically I set aside for when I'm not working. Because you guys have to realize that when you make all this money out here, people, when I do tell people, you know, friends and family, like the amount of money I make out here a month, they're like, whoa, wow. And then I, I have to tell them, like, but, you know, um, I don't work for months at a time either. So the money we make out here, we have to stretch out. So, you know, even though I make such an amount in such a small time, it still has to be spread out for the whole year. Another thing that I had mentioned that nobody knew it, I told both Josh, uh, the OS and the Bose, and I asked them about their insurance, their car insurance. And it surprises me how many people don't know this. If you pay your premiums, your six month, you know, insurance goes for six months. If you pay your premium, you'll be so surprised on how much it drops. Like for me, um, typically I'm running insurance on three different vehicles because I have a car addiction. Usually I have my truck, my caddy, and then either my little truck or something else. You know, I'm usually running three different insurances. And uh, the last time I paid for, I couldn't, I can't do the math right now in my head. I'm too jumbled up. But basically, it came out to roughly 1800 because I have full coverage, liability, liability, and then my history of course of driving but it was eighteen hundred dollars one thousand eight hundred dollars for six months if I paid monthly now I always ask and I've always paid the premium since I learned this when I said okay well I'm gonna pay the premium up front cost for the full six months I dropped the eighteen hundred down to eleven hundred dollars I saved seven hundred dollars just by paying up front for the full six months. The $700. You, 
you do that twice in a year, you're saving 1400 I'm saving $1,400. I'm not saying all you guys have, everyone has different insurance and different records of uh, driving records, so, but it's a significant amount. And I've gone through quite a few insurances and all of them give you the option that I've had to pay your premiums. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Biggest takeaway is the car insurance. Now, if you are currently paying month to month and you find it hard, like, you know, like Josh, I think he said he pays 115. Um, so that's roughly 700 bucks for six months. Now, if he paid his premium, I'll bet you would probably be around 500 something. So some of you might be thinking, well, how do, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, whatever, you know, you got your apartment, your bills, whatever, you might not have 500 bucks extra in one month. So for this goal, you know, in your current, your current insurance that you're paying right now, set aside you know, whatever it is that you paid for this current six months you're in, if you're paying monthly, say it's the $700. Try to save that $700 by the end of your six, six month um, term. You know, I'm not saying cough up $500 right now, but save up currently now until the end of the term, that $700 or whatever your insurance is per month and then when it's time to renew ask them what the premium is and I will bet you it'll be a couple hundred less so your insurance is paid for the full six months and now you have a couple hundred extra sitting aside to do with whatever you want blow it save it whatever you want that's what I got for tonight guys I hope you enjoyed it my lights dying it's getting darker um, Please subscribe, please like, share, comment. Day 42, I'm out.